Hi, it's Becca and welcome to my channel where today I'm taking you into the bedroom for a little bit of a refresh. We have lived in our house about eight years and aside from having the walls painted when we first moved in, that's pretty much all we've done in there. So this is long overdue and uh, I don't know what it is about our bedroom. I've always been this way. It's the last room to get a refresh where it should always be your first room because our bedrooms are where, you know, we find comfort, coziness, we go to relax, go to recharge. And so um, I'm, I'm glad that I'm, I'm finally doing something about it. I'm gonna take you on a little field trip, might even pull out some tools, there's paint involved. And I was going for a cozy, cozy refresh. Not sure if I accomplished it, but hopefully it's better than what it was. So as always, I appreciate you being here and let's get started. So here's what it looks like now. Just needs a little personality. So the plan is to add dark wall color and then vertical battens all across the back wall. Now, in order to get my calculations, I'm going to one of my favorite websites. I've used this for many projects. You type in your wall width, ours is 24 feet, your style width or batten width, which was two and a half, and I wanted 13 panels, an odd number. You hit calculate and it figures it out all for you. It takes away the guesswork, it takes away the frustration, and trust me, you will want to make note of or bookmark this website for future use. It really is a lifesaver and you will be happy that you saved it. First, let's go grab our supplies from Lowe's. And would you just look at how excited my husband is to be here rather than on the golf course. First items are the pre-primed wood. I decided to go with a one by four across the top horizontally. And then one by threes will be going down the wall vertically as my battens. Let's grab a few more supplies and then we're done. Like my favorite short handled paintbrush, a couple of paint trays, an inexpensive paint roller, a couple tubes of caulk, plastic drop cloth, and paint. Can't forget wood filler. And while these weren't on my list, I couldn't resist. Let's take the scenic route home here in Northern Virginia before we get this project underway. First thing I'm doing is painting the wall. I know that some people like to add their battens first, but because I'm going with such a dark color, I just decided to add one coat of paint first, and then I'll add another layer once I have the battens attached. And while I know most people paint left to right, I'm a lefty and I just do things backwards. I decided not to paint or batten the entire back wall only because I don't like that off-center vault. By keeping it lower, your eye will go directly to the painted part, making it feel a little more balanced. Now we're just adding the one by four across the wall using our level and brad nailer. The one by four will also help cover up that lovely paint line. That step is done. Now let's go cut the battens. First thing I'm going to do is cut all of the boards at a 45 degree angle at the bottom. I do it this way because if I didn't, these battens would hang over the edge of our base molding and it just kind of tricks your eye a little bit. See how I did it like that here in our foyer? Now that I've gotten all of my 45 degree cuts, I'm going to do a straight cut at the top of the boards. This is where they will meet the one by four that's going horizontally across the top. Now for the fun part, using my level 
and brad nailer i'm just going to attach the battens to the wall using the calculations that the inch calculator website gave me first part's done and i'm already loving it but i'm not loving what i have to do next and that is fill every single nail hole with wood filler and then add a bead of caulk to cover all of the gaps all the way across the wall next using my favorite paintbrush i'm just going to paint these battens really quickly And lastly, one final coat of paint. Next up, I am giving our bedside tables a bit of a refresh. However, rather than having to strip the paint off and sand them down and restain them, I found this amazing glaze that is making it look as though they are stained. And the best part is you dictate how dark or light you want the glaze to look. I can't get over what a time saver this is rather than having to drag my furniture outside and make a huge mess sanding and then restaining. This product is just a game changer. I will be sure and link it below. See what I mean by you dictate how light or dark you want this product to be. The more I drag my chip brush, the lighter the glaze becomes. You could use a rag as well, but I just prefer doing it this way. And while I'm making a mess in this room, I'm just gonna go ahead and paint my dresser. It is pretty beat up, as you can see. I'm also going to paint my husband's armoire, which looks equally as badly. Starting over here, my dresser's looking a little bit better now that it has a fresh coat of paint. We also hung the mirror, added lamps, candles, and a little bit of greenery. I really like how our bedside tables turned out. I ended up adding a new handle and knobs. Here you can see the before. I feel like it just has a little more character. And I like that glaze so much, I ended up doing the same thing to the mirror on each side as well. And I just couldn't stop myself. I ended up glazing this little bench at the foot of our bed. I really like the contrast with the white and how it now ties in with our bedside tables. And here's how my husband's armoire turned out. It got a fresh coat of Bistro white paint as well and added a little dough bowl on top for contrast. I moved this little piece over from a different wall and well, I like that print, I'm going to replace it with something that looks a little bit more summery. The jury is still out on that piece. I love it white, but because my husband's armoire is now white, I may end up glazing this piece just again for contrast. I found that really pretty print at Hobby Lobby. The roofs were pretty red, so I used some of the glaze to tone them down just a bit. As for our bedding, one thing I really like to do is add two comforters inside of our duvet. I just feel like it really helps to give your bed that cozy look and feel. And then layering a throw on top like this waffle one that I recently found helps add to that cozy factor as well. Almost forgot to mention that we added this new super comfortable mattress pad.
Well, friends, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for being here. Before you go, I do hope that you will consider subscribing to my channel and perhaps sharing this video. I hope you have a great week. See you next time. Bye.